You have an ID on you. I don't have an ID on me, no. If you fail the ID, we will take you to jail, okay? Well, I got another unit over here okay. and, uh, on the way, and we're going to detain you and find out who you are. Two police cars? Wow. There's sidewalk chalk written all over the playground that, over there. That, that's fine. But I think your intentions are a little different. People on social media with hundreds of thousands of followers who have already seen. We can play this game all day. Yeah. The Constitution is nullified in Fort Bend County. The police consider your comments and my lawsuit as a challenge to violate as many rights as possible. I'd say that you'd never believe it, but by now you just might expect what happened to a mom when she tried to exercise her free speech rights in the public square. Starting very aggressive already. Well, I'll take my phone out too. Okay, go ahead. When Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office Sergeant Fernando Flores confronted by Ann, she quickly pulled out her phone to video record him. And it's a good thing that she did, because despite Sheriff Fagan's promises for body cameras, Flores wasn't wearing one. She streamed the encounter to her Instagram, Zan by Ann, where you can find the full video. This is called criminal mischief, okay? This is writing on the sidewalk yeah, with that, chalk. that's correct. And there's sidewalk chalk written all over the playground that, over there. That, that's fine. But I think your intentions are a little different. What are my see, intentions? I need, I need to see your ID. What law am I breaking? It's called criminal mischief, ma'am. What law this, am this I has, breaking? This has to be cleaned up. You're causing an inconvenience uh -huh. for somebody else, the property owner of this. And they hire me to watch this. Mm -hmm. 24, Sam, too. Give me another unit to uh, Exploration Park. This sheriff's deputy was so frazzled over free speech and a mom standing up to his bully tactics that he struggled to properly request backup over the radio. Sergeant Flores is a night shift supervisor for Patrol 2 area and works additional shifts at a government-owned public park. Flores knows the laws about identification, but Sheriff Eric Fagan banned the First Amendment and per his official policy, has empowered deputies to snuff out anyone engaged in expressive activity. Instead of honoring his oath to uphold the Constitution, Flores played tyrant games. So if I draw flowers on the sidewalk, it's not a problem? But if I draw words on the sidewalk, I'm, I'm, it's I'm a problem? I'm not going to have a debate with you. What you're doing right now is illegal, ma'am. Actually, okay. it's not illegal. I looked it up. It's not is, illegal. Is it? Yes, it's, it's not illegal. It is, it no. is illegal because somebody has to clean this nobody up. Nobody has to clean it yes. up. It washes off. They pay I can get water bottle from my car okay. and wash it off. Okay. Well, I've got another unit over here okay. and, uh, on the way, and we're going to detain you and find out who you are. And who gonna, I am? Gonna, we're going to take a report on this, okay? You can take a that, report on that, but I'm not doing happen. anything illegal. Okay. You have an ID on you. I don't have an ID if on me, no. If you ID, we will take you to jail, okay? Okay, but Can I'm not failing to do anything. Okay. Do you have your uh, I don't ID? have an ID on me, no. Okay. What is your name? B A Y A N. Mm -hmm. What's your date of birth? March. And I'm also pretty sure that I don't have to identify myself unless you actually have something you, you that I'm doing wrong. You absolutely don't have to identify yourself. But what will happen is I will find out who you are, okay? And then and what? I can't arrest you because this is a Class C misdemeanor that occurred in my presence, okay? What so is I the misdemeanor? I can take you to What is the misdemeanor that I'm doing? I'm not going to have a debate with you. Misdemeanor is this, what you're doing right here. Writing on sidewalk That's with correct. chalk That's that correct. can be wiped off with... That's with correct. water? That's, so that's are you going to charge the kids on the playground with a misdemeanor I, too? I'm talking to you. I'm not, I'm not, no, but I'm not why aren't you watching them. the kids on the I'm playground? I'm watching you right now. Watching okay. you? Yeah. You're, you're not you're And not because what I wrote here, here right I have rights. I'm an American you, citizen. You I most do. certainly have rights. You absolutely do. Stay in the car. Flores radioed in by Ian's details to dispatch. She came back clear, so he couldn't nullify her free speech rights with a warrant. But the backup deputies are on their way. Who owns it? Who does it belong to? Well, we're going to find that out, okay? 
Okay, so you don't even know. I, I do. Absolutely and you came know. over here to I, tell I me that riding on this. Is. So who owns it? I don't have to tell you that. Just okay, so have I to tell me that. Okay. <laughs> all right. We can play this game all day. Yeah, obviously we can. What I when I'm doing, you don't like the message that I'm writing, and therefore you came here to harass me. I, I don't. I don't care about any of you. Yeah. You but I think your intentions are a little different. You don't like the message that I'm writing, and therefore you came here to harass me. I, I don't. I don't care about any of you. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you I don't just, care. You I don't care about twenty thousand dead they, Palestinians. They, so you I came over here to that. harass me because I'm wearing a headscarf and I have a kafia. That, that is, is absolutely the reason why you came over here. That is not Go back to the car that is and not. do not come out over here again. That is not why I'm over here. They hire me to come over here and protect their property. Excuse me. I've been detained here for writing with chalk on the sidewalk by this officer. <laughs> You're kidding. No. I, is, is that a class C misdemeanor for riding with chalk on the sidewalk? It depends. Is it washable? It's washable. It's sidewalk chalk. Ma'am, do no, me a favor. No, please don't come over you here. You want, he already reached for his there. gun there once. I don't need you getting involved. I just would like you to know that this is what is happening with your tax dollars. Oh, my goodness. I don't want you to get involved and to get hurt. That's okay. Hey, right on the... That's what I told him. That's what I told him. This is something different. It's, it's because I'm writing about a free Palestine and I'm wearing a headscarf that he Not came it. over here to harass me. Well, I hope you're okay. I hope so too, but he's threatening to arrest me. He's threatening to arrest me and charge me with a class C misdemeanor. Oh my goodness. That's right. Yeah, apparently this is a classy misdemeanor. He's threatening to arrest me for writing with sidewalk chalk. Whether or not no, you agree no, with the no, message, no, that's no, not the no. point. To arrest you. Yes, you did. I have it recorded. You're such a liar. I can arrest you. Absolutely, I can. But my plan is not to arrest you. You said you would arrest me if I didn't give you my name and whatever well, well, else it was that you name, asked for. You? you gave me your name, didn't you? You said you were going to arrest okay, me if I didn't give you my name. I said, what crime are you charging me with? And you said what? And I'm still You said you don't have crime. to. For I'm what? Still, Writing with sidewalk minister. chalk? Absolutely. Writing with sidewalk chalk is not a crime. I know that. I looked it up already. Okay. Whether or not I support a message, I believe in the right of free speech and free expression. Debate in the public square is sorely missing in America. Bayan has a right to speak, and we should all protect those who are speaking, especially when they are speaking out against the viewpoint of the state. Ms. Huffman, I live in your district. Your previous career line you prosecuted people for exploiting children. What greater exploit exploitation is there than stealing a child's life? Whether or not you view the attack on Gaza as Israel, the occupying power defending itself should be no question of, in this matter, of 11,000 children dead since October is not a price we would expect any other nation to pay. To tell us that they felt the same way, that they really want peace in Gaza and that they want a ceasefire. We had lots of thumbs up, lots of honking of horns. Hopefully we opened some eyes of some people and at very least, at very least, at minimum, we got some conversations going Two police cars? Wow. Two police cars. I take this as evidence. Do you have your ID in your car? Is it going to ask for it? I have to go look for it. I don't know if it's in my car or not. Same thing. Flores seized her property and detained her for an excessive amount of time. This deputy walked up, quickly understood the situation, but failed to intervene. Meanwhile, the other two are in a cop cuddle, scheming about what to do. This is why private security extra jobs should be banned. The hired cop will fort bend the law to please his employer. 
and the brainwashed young patrol deputy is not going to question a supervisor. Even Leon Valley supervisors know that sidewalk chalk is not a crime. Do you how they call it? Marker or what? No, it's chalk. Okay, is that a restful offense? But yes, because he's chalk, marker, permanent marker, all that stuff. I'm, I'm going to read the statue again. But, but, I want to give him a, a break. The order for Cosby has to be in double, meaning not erasable. <laughs> So chalk uh, is washed I don't know with the water is not washing okay, off, okay, so okay. it's gonna okay. take a little okay. time. But chalk, just be careful because chalk is not considered a permanent yeah. marking. Okay. So the I told him, hey, what is this? Doing? I'm oh, gonna give him a break. Hey, just stop. Okay. No, no, I, I'm doing art. This way, right? I can do this. You did it on the sidewalk. Or on the sidewalk. Okay. That's why not gonna be a rest of all fence. Yeah, we're gonna check right now. If that is the case, just let him go. Get yeah, double check, but tell him be careful because if we bring something <clears> back here like that, then. If we unlawfully detain them, then that opens yeah. up for lawsuits. Okay. There are many government-sponsored sidewalk chalk events locally, but the Willow Fork Drainage District has a board of entitled tyrants who need to be sued, along with Sheriff Fagan and his deputies. He's charging me for writing with sidewalk chalk. Because from the river to the sea, and talking about occupation is a crime. And I'm Palestinian. It's a freedom of speech. It's America. It's freedom of speech. I don't know what to do. It's okay, sister. I don't want you to get in trouble. You can go. I would like to know what law it is that you think that I'm breaking. Okay, so uh, I respect your freedom of speech. And it's well practiced here in the United States. And you are correct. And so is whoever she is to you. Um, but unfortunately, with this being a private property, it's a park owned by somebody. By um, who? You're not allowed the to. The county, right? You're not allowed to ride on. on it, but on. it's owned by the county, right? If it's owned by the county, you still can't do this. This is not a crime. It is a crime. It is not it's a crime. I want you to show me where it says drawing with sidewalk chalk is a crime because I have looked it up and it's not a crime. Uh, criminal mischief, you have. This is not permanent. It is not damage. It is not long lasting damage. It does not cost well, a cent. Well, this, is, this is not illegal. Okay. Well, this is what's going to happen is um, I'm going to report it. You'll be out of here. But unfortunately, I'm letting you know this is not allowed on a sidewalk. That man is no, a I can't, racist I can't speak piece of crap who threatened to arrest me. She's not the only one to allege this type of misconduct. A Fort Bend County resident, Hannah, recently reported Deputy Jason Bullman for being quote unquote unprofessional and racist when he used disgusting language to insult protesters. Hannah asked, how can we trust this man to protect and serve with non-bias? Well, and said he was going to charge me with a crime. Do you mind the case I'm on the card for him? And I'm going to report him and I have we'll give you his people on social media with hundreds of thousands of followers who have already seen what just happened. I get it. And it's frustrating, right? Um, especially what's going on with the world, but unfortunately, we, we, there's, there's loss. Why do they have a racist POS monitoring this area where families are? Is he going to go charge the children on the playground over there who are drawing with sidewalk chalk? Again, I can't speak for him. So why are they selectively choosing me for writing here when it's going to rain tomorrow and wash it off? I get that, but unfortunately, that's not how the law reads. And I'm explaining to you how the law reads, okay? I don't see a law. I haven't seen the law. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't write with, with chalk on a sidewalk. Okay? I want to see the owned, law. This is owned by somebody. Okay. Whether it's owned by the county or not. Okay, I, if it was mm -hmm. your house, maybe. That's actually exactly how the law works. People can speak up even if it inconveniences local government. And it is illegal for Fort Bend County deputies to selectively enforce their made-up laws. Diane stayed strong and did a great job in a very tough situation. It is mind-boggling what authorities, what power in this world chooses to care about and chooses to punish and pursue. You are a serious cop, aren't you? Stopping crime. Sitting on your little motorbike and coming over and harassing somebody who is losing family overseas and who is expressing frustration in the form of sidewalk chalk art. And for those of you who think the job of the police is to keep you safe, Sergeant Flores pulled two deputies off the street from the other side of the county for no reason. It makes me question his ability to deploy resources as a supervisor. 
And that isn't just a hypothetical. While Fagan's brave deputies were shaking down a mom at the park, an assault in progress call came in unanswered. No deputies available. The deputy at the park eventually responded to that call. He was able for a job, that one. Seven. 2371, have assault holding, no units available. Reporting to Lazen, her 12 year old daughter is trying to fight her. That's clear, it's been progress. See if there's somebody we can preempt. Uh, maybe pull from a neighboring district or use a contract unit. Hey, Justin. Howdy, Justin Pulliam. I uh, know you are. How you doing? Sergeant okay. Fernando Flores. You doing nice okay? to meet you, Sergeant Flores. Got, oh, this is just a complaint form. Got, I've given you several, so okay. that way you have some. <laughs> Extras. Um, <laughs> I really hope I never see anything that rises to the level of uh, a written complaint with yep. your office. But so I want my, you to be prepared if you do, and like I said, if you have any complaints on any of our night shift guys, I'm Sergeant Fernando Flores. I usually work nights. So okay. I'd be more than happy to help you. All right. Unlike many YouTubers, I report the news where I live. It's a risk for me to cover a story about Sergeant Flores. The night shift was the only group of deputies that I could sometimes film without problems. But retaliation is a standard MO at the Sheriff's Office. Standing up to unlawful authority is the most serious capital crime that must be squashed in Fort Bend County. We have bad laws, tons of tyrants, and a thousand ways to nullify the Constitution. Seriously, guys, a fucking drainage district. The we have we have to worry about a drainage district now.